developing an app. There are many open source app development software available. They help us develop an app. While developing an app, we should keep some points in mind. The idea of developing an app should be unique. The app we are going to develop should contain all the relevant features. The app should be user friendly. Let us create a mobile app with the help of a free software provided by Google called the App Inventor. With the help of App Inventor, we can create apps. App Inventor App Inventor is a free app development tool provided by Google. With the help of App Inventor, we can create apps for smartphones. The working of App Inventor is similar to Scratch programming language in which we drag and drop blocks for making an app. App Inventor has two basic views. A. The design view. This view contains all the components required to design an application. B. The block editor view. This view is the place where we combine blocks to execute an application. Setting up App Inventor. For setting up the App Inventor, we should have a Gmail account. To create an app using App Inventor, follow the given steps. 1. Type URL https colon double slash appinventor.mit.edu and press the Enter key. 2. Click on Create Apps button. 3. Type your Gmail username and password. 4. Click on Next button. 5. Click on I accept the Terms and Service button. 6. Click on Continue to create an app. 7. Click on Start new project button to start your first project. 8. Type the name for your project in the project name box. 9. Click on OK button. The project designer window appears. It is divided into four panes. Palette pane, view pane, components pane, properties pane. Palette pane. On the left, there is a palette pane from where we can start components like buttons, images, and other functions required for our app. View pane. To the right of the palette is the white area where we can view and arrange added components. Components pane. This pane shows a list of all the components added to the screen in a hierarchical view. Properties pane. When we click on a component in the viewer, we see its properties listed here. Properties of the components can be changed from here. Creating a talking app. In the project designer window, we will design the interface by choosing buttons, images, or text boxes and specify the functionalities of our app. We are going to create a simple talking app by following the given steps. Adding a button. Drag and drop a button from the palette pane to the view pane. Testing the app. App Inventor allows us to test our app while creating. So to test your app, Connect your Android device and download MI A12 Companion. Now follow the given steps. 1. Click on the Connect menu. 2. Click on AI Companion from the drop-down list. 3. Open MIT A12 Companion on your device and connect by scanning the QR code or typing the code displayed on your screen. Make sure your device and computer are connected to the wireless network to perform these steps. If you do not have any Android device, you can download emulator on your computer which works just like an Android device but works on the computer. The commonly used Android emulators are Android Studio, LD Player, Make Your Own, etc. Rename the button. In the components pane, button is displayed as button 1. You can rename it. To rename a button, follow the given steps. 1. Click on the rename button. 2. Type the new name for the component. In this example, we have given Talking Me. 3. Click on the OK button. App will be visible on connected device. 
The new name for the button will appear in the component pane, but in the view pane, button still has the name text for button 1 displayed on it. Change the display name of button. To change the display name, follow the given steps. 1. Click on the button in the view pane. 2. Type a new name for button in the text box. In this example, we have changed it to click to talk, adding a text to speech component. From the palette pane, open media drawer and click and drag text to speech component to the view pane. This component will not appear in the view pane because it will drop under non-visible components that will show up on the app's user interface. You can still find it in the component pane and properties pane. Block Editor This is the place where we code the components added in the design window and instruct them about the actions to be performed by them. Following are the main parts of the Block Editor. Built-in Blocks It contains all the predefined blocks in the application. They are responsible for handling operations like math, text, logic, and control. Component Blocks it contains relevant blocks for the components we have added in the design window. Workspace. It arranges all the blocks for coding in the workspace. Trash. It is used for deleting blocks that are not required. Backpack. It stores the copy of all the blocks even when we exit App Inventor. Making click event for button. 1. Click on the talking underscore me button. 2. Drag and drop when talking underscore me. Click do block and drag and drop it to the workspace. This is an event handler block that will handle what happens when the button on your app is clicked. Program the text to speech action. 1. Click on the text to speech block. 2. Click and hold the call text to speech 1 speak block. 3. Drag it over to the workspace and drop it over the button click block. This block will execute when the button on our app is clicked and make our phone speak. Enter message in the text box. 1. Click on the text component. 2. Drag and drop message block on call text to speech 1 message block. 3. Type the message within the message block. Test your app. To test your app, go to the connected device or emulator and click on the button. Your phone will read the phrase aloud. Keep the volume of your phone or laptop high.